for the Crimson Tide, right? Yep. 83, 82, I think. A couple of free throws, and it's a one possession game again. Illinois showing full court pressure. We're going to drop back into their man to man. Slips to the basket. I would watch that in that open middle. Shot clock at 10. Carr, turnaround. Yes. Wow. What an impressive fall away by Marcus Carr. That's a big time shot. And again, a five point game into the final minute. And the Illini need a quick score here. A lot of individual bouncing. No basket. A foul on Illinois away from the ball. I believe it was Coleman Huff. His mom, Suzette, in the house here in New York. Now down to 10 on the shot clock for the Illini. Hawkins needs some help. Epps gets it off. Yes! Well, it worked out for Coleman Hawkins. Not only did they get the three, he got the assist. And boy, they had to make something out of not much at all, but they did right there to get it down to two. 25 seconds to go. And a two-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock as Shannon commits the foul. And he fouls a 90% free throw shooter in Tyrese Hunter. When Coleman Hawkins took it down the court into the middle and nobody was available. Tough pass, but Epps, talk about fearless. That's a, a big time shot. But the timeout worked out. Yeah, it did. Not only got the yeah. three, but Coleman, yeah. Coleman Hawkins got yeah. an assist too. Hunter's first trip to the line tonight, 12 for 13 on the season. This is one and one. And Illinois can come down with a chance to tie it or win it. And Brad Underwood doesn't look like he's going to call a timeout. You don't want to give the defense a chance to, to set up with that timeout. And a foul is called on Serge Jabari Rice. Too much contact up top, and that's going to be two free throws. It is double bonus for Illinois. Boy, why you want to foul out there? It's not a smart play here. Well, he sort of fell into yeah, him. Lost his footing. Yeah, yeah, fell into him. So it is Epps, the freshman, at the line for Illinois. And Epps has shot over 80% on this young season. We talked about him being fearless. What a test this is. Right now, if this shot goes in for Illinois, the key is finding Marcus Carr and Tyrese Hunter. Timeout, Texas. And he does. Or what big free throws. It'll be Carr. Terrence Shannon guarding him. And we're going to overtime. Carr comes up limping as well. And Carr is in some difficulty right now. Not sure whether he's cramping up. It looks like that right calf. But Shannon did a nice job of staying in front and forcing a really difficult shot. Got some secondary pressure as well. It was Epps came over and Epps got a piece of the ball. That's a dangerous thing to, to try to do. You see him holding his arm breaker. <laughs> you have to keep that hot thing on. You know, Marcus Carr had Matthew Myers switched off on him with those four fouls, decided to take it on. Taryn Shannon Jr. with just his third field goal of the night, and Illinois has the lead here in overtime. I think Texas may want to look to Timmy Allen a little bit here, too, with his cutting ability. 
There it is. Yep. Got Meyer on him. Meyer playing with four. And it goes. Allen now with 19. Boy, tough shot over Matthew Meyer, who defended that pretty well without fouling. But I think Allen can be a big factor in this overtime period. Shannon gets free and knocks down a three. New life for Terrence Shannon Jr. Wow. Cunningham went under and he made him pay. More points in overtime than he had in regulation. A clear out for Allen driving on Meyer. Poked away by Meyer. Cunningham had his heel out of bounds. Well, Terrence Shannon awfully quiet for the first 40 minutes, but the next five, he's looked like himself. The pull-up jumper, and then Brock Cunningham guarding him and just gets caught up and bit on that step back a little bit, and Shannon cans the three. A couple of big plays from Terrence Shannon Jr. Boy, Chris Beard just went small. He's got Morris, Rice, Hunter, and Carr all in the game, Jay, at the same time. Epps so big down the stretch, draws the foul, and is headed back to the line. Boy, the ball movement's been so much better in this overtime period for Illinois. You, know, you move the ball, move the defense, now all of a sudden you can drive a closeout, which Epps just did from the right corner. And now Hunter may be cramping up. Epps a miss. Hunter out, Cunningham in. Meyer out, Harris in for the Illini. Boy, first car, now Hunter. Well, these, these players run so many miles in this game. How many breaks did Texas take today at, at their workout for hydration? Four point game, 250 to go. So Marcus Carr has had a not his best offensive game being guarded by Sincere Harris, who puts excellent pressure on the ball. Here's that shot fake. Ball's loose and it belongs to Illinois. Morris trying to take on Coleman Hawkins. He's got such a great burst. Epps with a burst. Extra pass finds Shannon. And Shannon scores again. The ball movement set up the downhill drive for Terrence Shannon Jr. And he has been a different player back to himself in this overtime period. But because the ball is moving and the Texas defense has to react, all of a sudden they're in rotation. And Marcus Carr tries to step over and take the charge. Didn't get there quite in time. And Terrence Shannon going to the line for an N1. When he gets downhill and can get to that left hand, he is so dangerous. So for Shannon, no points in the first half. Four points in the second half and seven to maybe eight here in overtime. Mom loving it. Not how you start, it's how you finish. And Shannon and the Illini seem determined to finish strong. Got a switch now. Hawkins on car. He's 6'10 and long. Cunningham. And they needed that one badly. Like Timeout, Chris Beard. Melendez just overhelped. 43 to go in the second half. Yeah, funny how that works. Yeah. Huh? You don't turn the ball over and you wind up <laughs> yeah, operating at a higher level. Yeah. They should coach that. <laughs> Inside two minutes to go here in overtime. Let's not forget the contributions of Jaden Epps, too, late in the second half for Illinois. Driving on car. That's hadn't really been out. Hadn't been able to make a clean pass. The denial defense for Texas, you know, limiting what. Illinois could do. Shannon the pull up. Allen got a piece of it. Texas ball. Great defense by Timmy Allen. Carr and a foul from behind on Coleman Hawkins who said he got all ball but it also looked like he got him with the body.
Timmy Allen just doing a terrific job contesting that shot. Got a piece of it. And then here on the other end, you know, Coleman Hawkins coming from behind. That's a foul. Yeah, he <laughs> took his right arm yeah. off for his left arm. So three free throws for Carr. Meanwhile, Hunter continues to get that left leg worked on on the bench, hoping to get back in there. Three big free throws to make it a one point game. And Texas throwing up, gave a 2 2 1 look, but just dropping back. Epps gets it off and hits. Well, it's been so difficult the last couple of possessions because of Texas's denial for Illinois to run anything, but Epps making a really strong move. Bishop guarded by Hawkins. A minute to go in overtime. Allen gets it off, gets it blocked. Shot clock is down to six. Tipped into the backcourt. Carr! And do they have Cunningham for a push from behind? Yes, they do. Give R.J. Melendez a tremendous amount of credit for that defense. You know, blocking that shot, that was a second jump block. Just a terrific job by R.J. Melendez. Not, not just a quit on the play, but watch him when he goes up here to contest. He can, he. Stay strong, goes up, and then a second jump block. Allen was able to get him off the floor, and then Melendez trying to block out. Just as he goes up, Brock Cunningham gets him in the back. Two really big plays by R.J. Melendez in a row. Cunningham out. Hunter has returned now for the Longhorns. And the Illini trying to match up here to make sure that everybody's got a man. You know, two guys they really have to watch here. Tyrese Hunter coming back in the game and Marcus Carr, but I still think Timmy Allen is somebody to go to. Another boost for the Illini after going 7 for 14 from the line, 10 for their last 11. Hawkins blocked it. And what is the call from Roger Ayers? Looks like it was an out-of-bounds yeah. call. I'm not sure exactly what it was. They're looking at something. Well, they might go back and see whether somebody was out of bounds. You get to you get to do that in the last two minutes of regulation and overtime. Some of the players, Darren Shannon Jr., looking up at the big screen, trying. He's doing his own review. <laughs> Coleman Hawkins comes over, gets a big block. He catches it. He's inbounds. And it got knocked away. Oh, he said it was out of. Said somebody's out of bounds. Yeah, Nobody's out of I bounds don't think there. Anybody was out of bounds. It didn't hit the underside of the backboard. You know what? Uh, Shannon hit it last, but he hadn't yet hit the ground. No, he wasn't out, out of bounds. Bound. It'll be Meyer to inbound. Shannon huge here in overtime. And he'll have a, have a chance here to add to the lead at the free throw line. Shannon, a pretty good free throw shooter, 75% on the season coming in. Now coming into this game, Terrence Shannon was one of only two players in the country averaging 19 points, at least six rebounds, and at least three assists. The other was Jalen Wilson yep. of Kansas. And remember, Brad Underwood said to Holly walking off the court at the end of the first half, you know, he wondered about whether uh, Shannon was a little bit anxious. He was recruited by and played two years for Chris Beard down in Lubbock. And maybe it took until halftime, Jay. Only We'll only know for sure when Shannon talks after the game. Maybe it took 20 minutes for him to kind of gather himself and settle in. Hunter for three. Tip is good. I think Timmy Allen will get credit for that. He should. He's the yeah. one that did it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a five-point game. 
And back to the line. Shannon will go again. Always good to get the ball into the hands of your best free throw shooter, but especially when your leading scorer has had a tough night, letting him, you know, having him knock some points down at the end of a game to salt it away is always a good thing. Did not have a point at halftime. He's got 14 now. This Illinois team's got a, a high ceiling. Their young players are good. There's a nice mix. And both these teams have a good vibe. Yep. You know, they're both together teams. Yep. Makes them both. The lead up to seven inside 20 seconds to go. In a game in which the Illini trailed by 10 with less than eight minutes left in the second half. Another block. This one by Shannon. And that's going to do it. What a gritty comeback performance by Illinois as they beat Texas in overtime here in the Garden. Illinois looked dead in the water, but did not give up. And what a performance down the stretch by Epps. And then in overtime by Terrence Shannon Jr. Shannon finishes with 16. Meyer a team high 21. Epps with some huge moments late in the second half. And the Illini beat the.